Greetings, everyone. We are at the closing of 2021, and I have a few videos, some pre-recorded to release. So on any given day, you might have two or three videos in that time. But in this one, we're going to talk about the meaning of 2022 and what we can expect. Now, if you're a person who's skeptical, you're going to say, how can anyone predict what tomorrow holds? But we can. That's why spirit comes in. That's why we have guides. That's why we have the ancestors. And those of you who are of faith, whatever you name your God, that's the purpose. Now, it's not just any belief that is going to get you to that point where you're actually materializing the things that you are dreaming about or not materializing really, but manifesting. That's a better word. Now, I don't have a command of the English language, so sometimes I use words and I leave off my ING and my EDs. It's not about that. It's about the message within the message, okay? And keep in mind that uh, sometimes the videos are not perfect because most of the time they're not edited, except for the occasion when I join two different pieces together just to make a whole but in general i'm not censoring what i say because when we have conversations with people we don't say oh pause let me just cut out that word it's real life we're dealing with okay and i'm trying to be as real as i possibly can be for the most part okay now we're looking at the year 2022 and so we see these variations in twos and two represent duality, balance, harmony, teamwork, love, family, partnership. Anything that completes a circle, two represents. But that zero in the middle of the twos, you know, or in the beginning of the, uh, separating the first two from the other twos, amplify a kind of openness which is cycle of life, fulfillment, potential, infinity. That circle represents infinity or ebb and flow, miracles, balance. I said that earlier, new opportunity. So we must look at that continual flow of energy that you must accept and release. It's going to be a year when you have to learn how to let things and people go. You must learn how, even at this point, start practicing it to release that negativity in order to remain positive. In 2022, you must be committed to go on a spiritual path because that is the doorway that is going to allow you to, to achieve peace and prosperity. More than anything else, peace is most important. With peace come prosperity, and prosperity is represented in different ways. Just to be able to get up and take a deep breath and say thank you for this day is prosperity. So you're going to pay attention to the voice within you that will take you where you need to go. That inner voice, that is at your belly, your navel, that chakra will tell you the truth about when to avoid danger, when to release people, when to run, when to be silent. You're going to learn to be more patient, to be more thankful every step of the way. That's why I'm telling you about the meaning of these numbers. We're going to establish no limit between ourselves and the potential of who we can become. There's no limit. So, you know, I'm working on vision board with some people this year and sometimes it amazes me. It's a thought that comes to you and you're limiting yourself. So, for example, you know, someone says, I said, well, if you could get any amount of, of 
money, what what amount would you want or what would you write down? And the person says, oh, I need about $10,000. And I said, to do what? And she told me, one client, for example. And I said, so what would be wrong with you putting down $2 million? It's just a thought. And yet you are so limited in um, the things that you think you deserve that you can't put that down. It would seem like an abomination. So you must establish no limit to the things that you can achieve. And I'm going to, going to also say, don't allow the sensationalization that are happening around you to consume your energy and your time. These methods are used to spiritually suppress your power within you. All the negative stories, all the doom and gloom and destruction we are hearing about. If you notice the people who are powerful or are wealthy, they are not consumed by these things. So you have to avoid the news. You have to avoid the negative stories that leave you feeling depressed, make you want to cry. Or you're weeping about people you don't even know. Some people are actually demons in the world. And when karma take them and they come up with their story, you spend your whole day crying. I've done that in the past, people. I had to learn to separate myself from people and their bondages. So going forward in the new year, all being well, you're going to remove yourself from these negative stories that are there to hold you down. You're going to suppress, your, your, sorry, surround yourself with people who are going to raise your vibration. These individuals are going to allow you to increase your mind to the point where you can start become more productive. You're not going to surround yourself with lazy people who will consume your time and take from your reservoir. You're going to focus on new priorities. See, the guiding forces are here to help us. But we must do the heavy lifting. Ain't nobody going to just empty out prosperity and joy and peace. You have to go for that. You have to go after that. So, our guiding forces are here to help us. But as I said... The heavy lifting have to be done by you. So you're going to have to believe in yourself. You have to listen to your gut. Because that message that comes from the gut never lies. We are kind, loving, caring people. And so the two also represent empathy towards the needs of others. But there must be a balance. See, everything begins at zero. Before conception, you know, zero. And then when you conceive and everything ends at zero. And I'll get into that in another time. So when you see two zero anywhere in the following year, understand that is representing peak and valley moments. Whether it be in your love life, your finances, your health, that means there is temporary, unstable times. And all you got to do is breathe and release fear. When you see that two zero pop up anywhere, whether it be in the clock, in army time, whether it be on a license plate, whether it be on a package that you're just looking at. Peak and valley moments. A reminder to say, Regardless of what happens today, I'm going to maintain that positive mindset. That is not going to allow me to just let fear, to drive fear in my mind or in my heart and stop my process. You must be open in the messages that are relayed to you. Whether these messages come in songs, as I said, on a license plate whether it appears in a random showing in your dream. For some people, this zero will stand between life and death, 
but that is the cycle of life. So sometimes you're going to lose sometimes parents, you know, situations in your life. Because death is not just about a physical being. It is also spiritual. Some people, your relationship is toxic. And right now as we're talking, you see it. You see that death, it's dying slowly. Love is dying slowly. But you're afraid to let go. You're trying to hold on to something that is already dead. You're going to have to release that in 2022. You know, that job situation, you fear going there. And you're just afraid to start over. You're going to have to let it go. That friend that is not a friend that you clearly see doesn't wish you well. That loved one, that family member that is your enemy. Worse than any stranger that you could possibly meet. That you're going to have to let go. You're going to have to leave some people in 2021 in order for 2022 to be great. You're going to have to make sure that you don't give your energy to negative people or negative thought. And I know that is not easy. It's not an easy road. The series or variations of the twos, 2022 two, two is very powerful. And if you take time to silence your mind and empty your rage... You will embrace a better tomorrow. There's more of these messages to come. But in case I get caught up, I decided to do this one today. So that you have something to look forward to. And to remember that the power lies within us to create the reality of tomorrow. And you don't have to be a part of a crowd. You don't have to be recognized by a group of people. For you to be great. You have to see greatness in you. And you have to trust your divine self. You have to trust the spirits that are around you. That have never lied to you. That clearly tells you when you must go east or west. When to avoid that or this situation. And when you listen. You learn. And you grow. And you avoid certain pitfalls. Some of us are way too stubborn. And that's why the spirit has withdrawn itself from us. I don't want that to happen to me. I want to be obedient in all these things. Whether it be my dream or whether it be a voice that speak to me. And, you know, again, over the years I've learned how to, you know, assess these thought processes and these whispers. Because, listen, we dwell in a metaphysical world and because we can't see with our naked eyes doesn't mean that truth doesn't you know walk around us doesn't speak to us in ways different from what we're taught to believe or to understand at this point in my life I've had so many experiences that blows my mind. Sometimes I just jump up and down. I'm just so, wow, for real. I'm saying this is for real. Spirit could say, I want you to do this. And when I do it, right away I manifest. No joke. So I'm very excited about all that has happened this year. Whether it was good or bad, I saw the blessings. I saw, you know, the rise and fall of so many things and people. And I'm here today to tell you that regardless of what you are seeing in front of you, all that can go, all that can change and is about to change in 2022 if you position yourself to walk in the spiritual path, to understand what nature is saying to you. Because every single day, nature provides us with messages. You know how I say, order your day. Every morning when you wake up, 
the universe has a plan laid out and we have autonomy. So, you know, let's, let's say, for example, we get our itinerary, our travel itinerary. You're going on a trip wherever and you're going with a group tour and they tell you this is what we're going to be doing. But that doesn't mean that it will take place in that order. But you don't have any question for the tour guide. You go along with what they say. It's same. The same is true for you in your own personal life. There is an itinerary, but only you can decide what order it goes in, what you choose to release and what you choose to embrace. And I'm going to ask you to go out there with that mindset and to understand in all things, put ya first. Let that be your guiding force. And you don't stray too far or left from center. And you stay there and you say, I know. I know what I heard in my spirit. I know what I want. I know how I see my destiny or my future. And you stay there. I taught kids who were between four and seven years old how to run around a room and never lose sight of a center, never lose sight of a mark, a circle that I put on that chalkboard. And we could have a fire drill and we would be the first ones out the building, everyone in their winter clothes standing there with their bags. And people wondered how I did it. It was a secret. And that's the same secret I'm trying to teach. How to stay focused. How to trust your gut. How to know, to, to know that this thing is bigger than your brain currently understand. You don't have to be depressed. You don't have to be broke. You don't have to be in turmoil. If you understand this kind of truth. And when you understand this kind of truth, you're so centered that regardless of what's happening around you, you have peace. There were times in the past when I used to say, oh, I can't stand being here or there. I just want to be in this place. And my partner used to say, you know, if you have peace in your mind, regardless of what's happening or where you're at, you'll be happy. Best truth. Best truth. And so happiness is a choice, as I've you know shared with you in the past. And the numbers that we're seeing here now, how do we know we are in 2021? Somebody told us that, but we are working with it because everything is matter. Everything is energy coming together to create our reality. And so if we just know, okay, this is what they say, it's 2022, let's not work with semantics here, let's just deal with what we have. And doing so, we can open doors, we can receive blessings, we can find balance and harmony in the year 2022. Stay blessed, everyone.